Hello, uh, my name is Frank Mendez. Thank you very much for tuning in to us. We've got something really exciting for you. It's called a multi-purpose emergency water distiller. And what's really beautiful about this distiller is it can be used off-grid and on-grid in both situations. It also, uh, it is a distiller that you can use to, uh, for multiple reasons. And right now we're gonna talk about the distillation aspect of this distiller. The distiller is, again, stainless steel, made in the USA, which should be really important in anything that you purchase. Made in the USA basically will guarantee that you have high quality stainless steel and that, uh, it'll, uh, the, that it will last a lifetime and that uh, someone in the United States will probably have a job. So let's go through this system. Here's from a previous video, you can see that this is the boiling pot. This is a condensing pot that, we're, that we have for this distillation system. We're gonna start off from a previous video, as you saw, this is a, a, um, a water evacuation uh, uh, faucet, which we're gonna put on. And the reason we're gonna put this on, as, as I put it on, is because at some point down the line, you're gonna want to um, remove some of the water that's in this boiling chamber because you may be midstream and you may want to remove it. So we're gonna put this particular component on. I'll do it this. Slip this on off and we put this on. Step over here. If you notice there's a gasket on the outside of this and a gasket on the inside. A lot of times people kind of overlook this simple step but it's really easy to, to not do that. So I'm gonna point these two things out to you. One gasket is on the inside, one gasket one gasket is on the inside and the other one is on the outside. We're gonna thread this through. We're gonna put on the gasket on the inside. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna tighten this up to as well on the inside. By the way, this particular component is stainless steel. You'll need to take this, this particular portion on off if you want to, and you'll see that, that this will come off. But we have that off here, so that's stainless steel as well. That's also on the outside of this particular one along with the gasket. We're gonna put this inside now, and then we're gonna tighten it up with a stainless steel bolt. Now, as we tighten that this up, there's gonna be a point where you can no longer tighten the threads with your hands. So what you're gonna do, by the way, when you take a look at this, there is, you'll see this particular nut. Take a look at it, because if it, it's not going on right away, just flip it over to the other side. Okay, so, so that, that'll save you some time. And I'm gonna flip mine over to the other side because it was kind of fighting me when I was putting it on. Now we're just gonna tighten it up really quickly with our hands, and all you really do is to, need to do is really hand tighten it. I'm gonna move it to this position here because in the end, after I've tightened it as tight as I can possibly tight, tighten it with my fingers, and that's, I'm just about there. There's gonna be some, there you go. I've got it clamped now with my fingers. Now I'm gonna turn this valve up here nice and tight as I'm clamping on the other side and it's ready to go. You might want to put some water in there to make sure that, that you tighten it on enough, but as you can see, you really want to hand tighten uh, this particular part of it. Now, the next thing you're gonna really pull out when you have the distiller is you're gonna see this. This is your float mechanism for your distiller. The float mechanism you're gonna set right at the bottom of your distiller, right in the middle of it. And after you do that, you're gonna use this particular lid for the water distiller, as you can see. It's right here. And we're gonna set that right up over the top of this. Now I want you to notice that this, this, this one has gaskets on the inside of it to help uh, to keep uh, the steam in there. And then it also has latches. It's also flat. It also has latches so that you can secure it and, 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 st and steam will not escape. We'll put all three of them on here. This is unique in the fact that it also has latches for your distiller. Set that aside like this. We're gonna set, there's another lid that you might notice. We're gonna set that aside because we're not gonna use that at this moment. 
we'll set that over here. Now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to set up the float mechanism because one of the other unique features of this one is that you really only have to pour water into the top of the container. You don't have to disassemble it to put water in the bottom and also take off the top to put water in the top. Uh, in many other distillers that you see out there, you do have to take this on off because this is empty, so you need to refill that. And on the top aspect of it, uh, you may have to dump the water or it may be very, very hot. And if it's very, very hot, then uh, it's not going to cool uh, the condensed steam that's going to come up through your distiller. So that's really, really important. So now, you don't have to disassemble this to keep your production going. You don't have to disassemble this or dump what's ever in this particular chamber to keep your production going because the water through this float mechanism will go to the bottom of this and when it's filled it'll stop going and your water will start distilling. Now this is what we need to do now to make the float me mechanism really work effectively. Before we go any further, let's um, put the faucet on the top condensing chamber. Now this is where the cold water will come that you'll pour your cold water into. The steam will rise on up, hit it, and then condense into your uh, distiller tray, water distiller tray. So let's do that. Now, basically it's exactly the same system that we have that we did for uh, the bottom boiling pot. So you're going to have two faucets. And I'll tell you at a later date why, why you has two faucets. At this point in time, let's just put it on. So we're going to do the same thing. Unscrew this. And we're going to put we're going to put uh, the stainless steel component on the outside of it. We'll do it to this one. We didn't show you how to do this on the uh, on the other component of it, but we'll do it on this one here. So we're going to place we're going to place this on the exterior here. The collar, if you notice, the bevel part is pointing out. Here's your uh, gasket that we're going to put on to the exterior. Here is the nut and gasket that we're going to be putting on to the interior of this. So same exact procedure as we used before. And we're going to put that on here. I'm going to, and we'll stick that in. And when you have it as tight as you can tighten it, and you give it, I'm going to give it a few more twists with your hand, then clamp it, clamp um, the bolt on the inside of the nut on the inside with your fingers and turn your faucet around such as like this. Nice and tight. Okay, and once again, you might want to put some water in there to see, uh, to make sure that that it does not leak or you don't have to put your hands in there later. But if, if you do, it's not a problem. Just tighten it just a little bit more. Okay, now that we've tightened this on up, our next step is to do this. We're going to get our distillation chamber which looks like this. And we're going to add our tube to it. Here's your tube that you're going to have. We're going to just push that in. Sometimes you may have to warm it up in warm water to put it on there so it expands. And you just push it through nice and hard. Okay. Now your distillation chamber will go like this. We'll set right up over over your uh, float ball. So we're going to set it up like this. Let's we'll center that. Let's center that right here. Now this will be, this particular side will be wherever you have uh, the ball or the reserve or your product water will be going into. So, so this is where it'll go to and this is the way it'll be set up. What we're going to do next now is set up your condensing chamber. Once again, water will be heated down through here, will come up through the bottom of this, steam will come up through here, will hit the bottom of your condensing chamber, condense into this tray, the tray, the condensed distilled water then comes out through the tube into, into another bottle or container that you're going to use to drink out of or to carry your distilled water. Now we're going to set up uh, the condensing chamber up on top of that in time as you use it. You'll clean up the bottom of this to make sure that it's as clean as possible. 
So always clean the bottom of your boiling chamber because you'll end up setting it aside. There might be some dirt there and we don't want that, the moisture which condenses to come back into your, uh, into your di uh, distillation chamber and then inevitably into your water. So just, just a, a note for you to make with that. We're going to set this up now. We'll set this up aside. Like this. The next thing we're going to do is put, put the, the float guide stem into the bottom of your condensing pot. And basically you're going to see this. You're going to have yourself your gasket, which you're going to put right on the system. You're then going to insert this. Insert this. We're going to have another gasket that's going to be on the inside of the pot. We're going to do this. We'll put that in there. We're going to have two washers and both these two washers we're going to insert on the inside. So let's do that. There you go. And we're going to tighten that on up. Now you should just have to be able to hand tighten it in most cases. Just uh, pull it through and just tighten that on up. Take special care and take a look at this particular part of it again. It's probably the, just the way you put in your washers and everything else is really important. So take a look at it. Now it tightens. See, you really don't need a tool. If you're having to touch, uh, tighten it a lot, then take a look at this portion of this video again. It's nice and tight on the inside, as you can see. Okay, now we're just going to simply lift this on up and guide it. We're going to use the guide. Set that in there. Set it up. Make sure it's squared away on the top. Let's put all our valves on up here. Let's close. On this situation, it's closed. Let's close the top valve here too as well. And we're set to go. The beauty of this now is all we need is water. So you can get water from whatever spot that you have available. Let's just say you're um, out in the wilderness, there's a stream there or something else that has uh, water in it. Maybe it's even full of twigs or something like that. In which case, you just might want to put a little sock or t-shirt up here pour it right through the system. What's interesting is you say, well, there's no water down here. Well, no, there's no water down there. But because the float is down, the water that you put in up here is going to come down in here and be heated right on up. You will continue to fill this right back up, up uh, just below the top of it, and leave the top on open. Evaporation place takes place. Water will be over here into the, con into the container that you want it to drip into for you to drink. And you can keep, and as you walk by, you can see, you can make a different size bottles that you want, or a four or five, or even another pot. If you have another pot, you could possibly do that. Place another pot here just to hold your water. So you can vary this on, empty this one out, and keep it going. Now let's just say that, okay, you've got... Um, You've got water down here, and it's 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 pretty hot. And and uh, excuse me, that this has gone down, and the water down here seems to be pretty hot for some reason because the fire has been on for a long time. Then you instead of opening up the system and taking everything apart, that's what this is for. So you just open this up to empty it on out a bit, and then refresh it with cold with uh, hot water up here. Excuse me with uh, the water that you have available and start the cycle all over again. Again, the beauty of it is that you don't, that you uh, don't have to disassemble it and that's what you're going to find uh, to be really beneficial for you and give you, give you higher water production. You should easily get 16 to 18 gallons uh, on this per day and it'll actually take less, less effort on your part because you're not having to disassemble, disassemble and assemble things back together again. This is a great distiller because it's off-grid or on-grid. In other words, you could put this on a stove, on a, on a, uh, on a uh, grill, on an on a outside fire. You can use it for camping. You can actually, uh, so you can take it on out with you and set it on a nice grate. 
uh, to do that. So now you have a system that you can actually use in your home, best preferred outside for camping. Let's just say you're a missionary. Uh, you might want to use it for that. You're camping. You'd want to use it for that. You can take water out of uh, basically a mud hole or out of the slough or swamp and you're going to have the absolute healthiest water that you can drink. And uh, there's nothing like great tasting water and if you don't have healthy water, you will become unhealthy. So thanks again. Take a look at this. You're going to love it. Give us a call 612-701-7820 if you have any questions. And let me add this to the system too as well. It is a multi-purpose water emergency water distiller. And multi-purpose is something that we're going to get into again. Uh, this distiller, uh, in our next video, we're going to show you what other usages you can have out of this distiller. It's excellent, it's exciting, and by the way, there's no other distiller or multi-purpose water distiller made that will do exactly what we're about to show you. So please take a look at our next video in reference to the other qualities and other benefits that this distiller can give you.